Hi, and welcome to the Estes Park News Weekend Report. I'm Chris Hazelton. This Saturday, the Estes Valley Recreation and Park District, in conjunction with Colorado Parks and Wildlife, is sponsoring a fishing derby to benefit youth programs. The derby will be held on Lake Estes and is for all ages and will run from 8 a.m. to 12 noon. Prizes will be given for largest fish in four age groups. Registration begins at 6.30 a.m. at the Lake Estes Marina Store at 1770 Big Thompson Avenue. For more information, call 586-2011. The hilarious play, Continental Divide, by the Repertory Theater continues this weekend. The show will be performed this Friday and Saturday nights at 7 p.m. with a Sunday matinee at 2 p.m. Tickets are available at McDonald Bookshop or at the door prior to the performance. The play is being staged at the Studio Theater at the Masonic Lodge on Highway 7. Don't miss your chance to see this great play. The Wool Market takes place this weekend at the fairgrounds at Stanley Park. The Wool Market offers families an amazing chance to experience hands-on learning and fun for free. At the market you can meet alpacas, llamas, sheep, rabbits, and other fiber animals. You can also browse dozens of booths and unique wool products, enjoy demonstrations in weaving, spinning, and shearing, and watch sheep shearing and sheep herding demonstrations. New this year will be live entertainment, a beer and wine garden, and pony and tractor rides. The event is open to the public Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. This week, Rocky Mountain National Park photographer Ann Schoenlau shared some great photos of a black bear in Rocky Mountain National Park who tried to open a bear safe trash container for 30 minutes with no luck. The bear finally gave up, climbed the fence, and ran away. These photos prove that bear resistant trash containers do work and they are important in helping keep our bears alive. Other tips to remember are only put your garbage out on the morning of pickup, don't leave your pet food outside, Bird feeders should be brought in at this time of the year. Birds don't need to be fed during the summer months. Allow your grills to burn for a couple of minutes after cooking to burn off grease, eliminate odors, and remember to clean your grill after each use. And always close your garage doors and keep the bottom floor windows of your house closed when you're not at home. And remember, don't keep food in your car and lock your car doors. It's important to remember these simple tips to help us coexist with the bears. And now here's Chloe Libby with your weekend weather forecast. We're now in the month of June, time to enjoy some nice warm weather. On Friday, we'll have highs near 70 with a 50% chance of rain. Saturday will be a bit cooler with temperatures closer to 60 degrees with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. On Sunday, we'll warm back up and enjoy 70 degree weather with only a 40% chance of precipitation. This will be a great weekend to get outdoors and have fun. Just make sure to keep an eye on, out for mother elk and their babies. This week we leave you with some great photos by Robert Burns who captured these images of a pair of Canada geese up in Sprague Lake in Rocky Mountain National Park showing their commitment and loyalty to their young. These photos prove geese will protect and defend their nest and young goslings at all costs, even chasing off these huge moose. That's it for this week. Have a great weekend and we'll see you back here next week.